very well, thank you. Uh, so, I'm James, I'm a uh, second year trainee medical nurse. Uh, I'm obligated to tell you that, but don't worry, we're only going to be doing some very basic things today, like um, some questions and checking your vitals. We're not going to be doing anything uh, fun like surgery. They don't let us do that for a couple of years, so you're in very safe hands. <laughs> Yes, of course, let me explain. So, um, we're gonna update your medical records and make sure that everything is in order there. Um, a good 50% of medicine is just paperwork. <laughs> uh, then after, we're gonna go over things like your uh, heart rate, your blood pressure. We're gonna check your height and weight and your BMI. Sorry about that. Um, check your breathing, lungs, uh, respiratory system, all those kind of things, and then providing that's all within normal ranges, uh, just going to chuck in a pair of gloves and have a quick look over just a preliminary check over the injury area. Once that's done, I will hand you over to my very capable colleague and also my supervisor, Dr. Mali. She is uh, the managing physician here. And from there, I think she's going to give a more thorough exam and hopefully come up with a treatment plan to get to the bottom of what the problem is. Sound good? Uh, if you don't mind, we could just start with some questions. Okay, nothing too invasive, but just try and answer it as accurately as you can, all right? Uh, so we've got your name, date of birth, insurance number, yada yada, already sorted. Um, have you recently moved address in the time since your last appointment? Same address, good. Uh, are you allergic to any medications? Oh, good. Uh, any further allergies? Um, nuts, latex. That's an important one as we do use latex gloves, so good, no latex allergies, fantastic. All right, prior to the incident, uh, were you on any medication? Nope, good, that's, that's good. And since feeling unwell, have you been taking anything? That's just over the counter, yeah, okay. Just paracetamol, fine. Uh, rough idea about the dosages and maybe twice a day okay good that's fine try not to exceed um, about 800 milligrams spread over 24 hours aim for less really but all right so how long has it been since you started noticing the symptoms since the, you started feeling unwell basically Mm. Okay. All right, and the uh, next questions are just about the symptoms. So, uh, yes or no, if you have or are experiencing any of the following, they might not all seem relevant, but just give your best answer, okay? All right. Um, have you experienced nausea? Vomiting? Uh, noticed any changes in appetite? Okay, a little bit. Uh, any double or blurred vision? So subtly, maybe. Uh, any increase in drowsiness? Obviously beyond what you would normally expect uh, in an average day. Okay. Uh, any sort of really noticeable fatigue or exhaustion? Again, this is kind of above what you would consider a baseline. Mm. Uh, dry mouth, any excess dryness in the mouth? Uh, shortness of breath? All right, and feeling sort of hot or clammy, um, maybe a, a raised temperature, anything along those lines. All right, and any nosebleeds or blood coming from uh, anywhere that it shouldn't be? 
Okay. Uh, last question on this, on a scale of 1 to 10. So uh, 10 being unbearable, obviously 1 being extremely mild. How severely would you rate your current level of pain and discomfort? Okay, so there's a fluctuation there. Uh, daytime. Right, and let's say evening at its most severe. Okay. That seems fair enough. Alrighty. Now, just before we begin the physical portion, I uh, just need to pop some gloves on, all right? And then we'll uh, briefly start by listening to your breathing, okay? Okay, lovely. Uh, so I'm just gonna start off by listening to your lungs, all right? If you could just uh, undo the top button, nothing invasive. I'm just gonna pop this just down the top of your shirt, okay? Uh, following that, I'm gonna give you some instructions, all right? All right, ready? Okay, I'm just gonna place this here. That's good, just keep that breathing pattern going if you can. And over here. Really try and fully fill the lungs every time you breathe in, okay? That's good. Very good. Okay, now this time, if you could just, and then hold it. Hold it. Just that. And exhale, very good. Same again, just here. Big deep breath in. Ah, just hold it there. Just holding it there. Whew, and relax. Okay, this time if you could fill your lungs and then just give a little cough. Just a <coughs> okay, ready? So big deep breath in, and just a little cough, good, and again, one more time down here, and a little cough, okay, sounds absolutely fine, lungs sound nice and clear, just going to make a little note of that. Good. Now I'm just going to check your heart rate, okay? And I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way, which means I'm just going to feel along your neck here. Once I've got your pulse, I'm going to time uh, 30 seconds, and that should give me a rough BPM. And we're going to do it in a couple of places here and here as well, okay? Now if you could just try and relax while we're doing this, because any excess stress can speed up your heart rate and give a false reading. So just try and breathe nice and slow. And as you pause, all right, ready? Good, doing very well. Very good, just keep breathing normally. Nice and relaxed. Good, okay. It's a very good resting heart rate. Right? It's 68 beats per minute. All right, let's quickly just uh, check your temperature, if you don't mind. Again, we're gonna do this in the relatively old-fashioned way. Put a thermometer, it's gonna go under your tongue, all right? So if you could just open your mouth, uh, lift up your tongue, I'm just gonna place this here. It shouldn't take long. Yeah, 
36.2, very normal. Uh, lastly, I think we can just have a little look at the injury area. Uh, anytime people have a head-related injury, it's always best to check over the scalp. Um, even if there was no immediate concussion, it's you know it's quite a delicate, sensitive area to injure, so it's always bad. We better to be safe than sorry. If you could just pop your head forward. Okay, I'm just going to be pressing very lightly and passing your hair slightly. If you can just let me know any discomfort, any uh, any pain or. Um, sharp pain as well especially I would expect some sort of dull kind of pain around this area Did you just pop your head forwards mm, no prior injuries there are there so this is all I'll post that okay all right very good just going to be pressing slightly around the uh, orbital bone, just on this side. Again, you let me know if there's uh, any severe discomfort. Sorry if it's a little tender, although that is to be expected. Uh, no pain around here. And this. I mean, I'm not super concerned, but there is definitely a couple of things I'm sure the doctor will want to have a look at. All right. Um, I think she should be available any minute now. I'm going to send her a page, and when she comes up here, we'll um, convey some notes, make sure that she's brought up to speed on where you're at, and then I will leave you in her very capable hands. Okay. All right. Hello there, sweethearts. My name is Maddie. It's so nice to meet you. Get my gloves on here. James, would you mind just telling me what you've got going on here? Uh, yes, a uh, patient is complaining of some soreness and swelling on the right orbital area, causing a little bit of drooping around the lid, uh, slight visual impairment around the uh, Temperature breathing is normal, no wrong obstructions, localized bruising around the injury. Um, unfortunate fall during a Christmas decoration incident. You fell down taking your Christmas lights off of your house. So 
So, like I said, um, I'm going to now do a cranial nerve exam on you. Okay, so I felt uh, your facial muscles. Okay, now I'm going to really check um, the strength here. So, if you'll open your mouth for me and I'm going to press on your jaw, I want you to resist and not let me close it, okay? So close your mouth. I'm going to try to open it. Don't let me. Okay. Go. All right. Good. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, now I'm going to lightly tap this on your knee. Test your reflexes, okay? So go ahead and scoop back just a little bit, just so the backs of your knees are against the seat. Okay, let your feet dangle. Thank you. Ready? Good. Now let's try this side, make sure it's equal.
or inflammation, no blockages, nothing like that. Now, um, I know we've been interacting this whole time, but I do just want to make sure that your hearing is equal and intact. Okay, so getting back up close to you here, I'm going to put my hands on either side of you, of your head, and I'm going to do this. On one side, I want you to tell me which side is it on. Okay, super easy. Alright, no cheating. And last one. Go ahead and smell. Eucalyptus. Good. That one's a little tough for some people. Okay, so you passed the scent test. Okay. Okay, so the last test is the sharp versus tool test. So we've got tweezers that I'll poke you with. It's gonna feel sharp, won't hurt though. And then this eraser that'll feel dull, okay? So I want you to tell me which one is which. You're gonna look straight ahead right at my nose. Okay, I'm gonna do it to both sides of the face, all right? Interesting. Okay. Same thing on this side, all right? Okay, tell me which one. Good. This one. Okay. About now. Okay. And now. Good. All right. I want to try. 
try it on your right hand. I want to see if it's um, loss of feeling specifically to the face. Let's check your hand here. Same thing. going to make some notes here to complete your chart. Okay, so eyes look good. Hearing was intact. Muscles believe you have damage to your accessory nerves, which are your motor nerves. Um, you may have had a stroke, um, thus making you fall. Um, the stroke likely would have caused the damage to the nerve. It is fixable, so don't freak out. Everything is okay. Everything's absolutely fine. Um, what I am going to do is prescribe you some medication and some physical therapy so you will regain the function of the right side of your face, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this medication in And what pharmacy do you use? Is that the one? Over on that one, okay. Okay, this should be a ready later today. And <clears throat> the physical therapy. So, um, after this, I want you to go to the front desk. Um, they're going to do two things. One, they will give you the number for the physical therapist that I'm recommending you to um, or referring you to. You don't have to use them. You can find your own physical therapist. Um, just let us know if you don't use them and we'll send your um, information, your records over to them so they can see um, all your information there. And then the receptionist will give you um, the phone number of this physical therapist that I'm referring you to if you're interested in using them. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. I'm so sorry about your accident. Um, luckily, though, it is curable. is set you up for uh, a second exam in about six to eight weeks, whatever works for you. Um, just so I can follow up and see how you are doing with the medication and the physical therapy, okay? Um, whatever physical therapist you use, I will stay in touch with um, just to see how you're doing. Do give us a call though if you have any adverse reactions to the medication.
medication, okay? We have other options if that doesn't work for you. We'll find something else if that does, okay? All right. Thank you so much for coming in, sweethearts. Again, I'm so sorry, but we will get you on the mend. Yeah. All right. I will see you from six to eight.